Today I'm at Putnam where I'm going to show you how to set up the iPro Traveller. This antenna comes in a handy carrying case so first we're going to unpack all the components. Make sure all the polythene doesn't blow away. The clumsy poem you wrote about something you loved The list you made to better organise the things you left undone Directions to a so we to rewire the base unit is the largest item. I'm going to pick this up, undo the securing knobs, and then you can fold out the legs. The list of heartfelt gifts compiled on Christmas Eve. The ghosts of lines through items visible, five pages underneath. Retighten the knobs, and then that'll hold the legs in place while you put it in the right position. For chicken horse might be the start of a new masterpiece. To level the base, we can use the little spirit level which is supplied. Just slip it on the top and then adjust the legs again until you've got it vertical. This is not too critical though, so don't worry too much. Now we're going to add the elements. I'm going to do this on the base, but uh, if you prefer, you can do it all on the ground and then put the whole assembly onto the base if that's easier. Take one of the element units, they're both the same, lower the arms out until they're horizontal, tighten up the securing knobs, and then it can just be slid onto the top of the base unit, obviously removing the spirit level first. Now I've opened up the arms on the top section and I've attached it to the central coil, making sure the hole in the coil is at the top. Then the whole assembly can be just clipped into place on the top of the bottom element and a little clip, just rotate it till the clip engages. Next, take the fiberglass connection support rod, and at one end you'll see two collets, and remove one of those little collets. Push the connection support rod through the hole in the top of the coil section, and then put the rubber collet back on again just to stop it coming out. See, I've connected now the coax cable and put the shroud back down over that. And what I'm doing now is putting in the patching leads to select the required band. And this pull down table shows you which leads should be connected where for the band that you require to use. Operation on the 10 11 meter band, we need to just alter the angle of the arms from the lower element. Do this by loosening the nuts, just moving them into position as shown as a little pull down there. If you've opted for the 30-40 meter option, then there will be a separate coil. And it's quite simple just to replace the existing coil by releasing it from the center of the element and swapping in the 40 meter coil play with those two buttons. Again you need to alter the patching for the required band and alter the angle of the arms if necessary. Once set up correctly the iPro Traveller is resonant on the required band and it doesn't need an external ATU which makes it very convenient for portable use. With an SWR meter you can adjust the angle of the lower arms on any of the bands to bring the lowest SWR into the relevant portion of the band. Finally, when it comes to packing away, it's quite important to put the components into the bag in the right order to make sure that they all fit properly. So first we're putting the base unit in, the larger bit, and the large end goes in first. Next we can put the element sections in, so they're both the same, and for both of them put the smaller end in first, so we're leaving the joint section at the entrance to the bag. Then we can put the element coils in, <coughs> both if you've got them. And finally the connection rod and all the bits and pieces. 
Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. And now you can go off to the beach where you'll find you'll have great results operating over water. When you find that truth, what if they don't like what if